Hey guys, David here, bringing you guys the Q&A. Okay, let's get started. Let me put on my glasses here. Uh, let's... Now, before I get started, I'm actually going to answer the top three most frequently, frequently asked questions. I got these questions almost all the time. Some of you guys asked uh, uh, one of them. Some of you guys asked two of them. Some of you guys asked all three of them. There's a total of three. So the first one is, how many Transformers do I have? Um, I haven't counted it yet, but because I, I'm expecting my collection to kind of grow somewhat. But if I have to say, maybe no less than 50. But you don't have to have a huge collection to be a, a Transformers fan. I mean, who agrees with, who agrees with me with that? Uh, who is my favorite? Now, some of you guys specified, some of you guys didn't specify. If we're talking toy-wise, you can't ask me that because much like you heard some people say, you can't ask Transformers collector who their favorite Transformer is toy-wise because that'll be asking that'll be like asking them who's your favorite kid if they have kids. So you can't ask them that. Uh, I do have a number of favorites, but I don't have my absolute favorite. In terms of character, I would very much love to have seen a Transformer that is sort of modeled after me. You know. Timid, get kind of wild, uh, shy, yet outspoken, all at the same time. But there isn't, so I'm going to have to settle with Optimus Prime because I was, after seeing his character on screen, every time I saw a truck, I thought Optimus Prime. Whereas every time I saw a beetle, I just said, hey, a beetle, a, you know, a Volkswagen beetle. So I have, I'm going to have to say Optimus Prime. And the third final frequently asked question is, who do I want to see in Spider-Man 4? And I kind of answered this before, and now you guys are asking me again. So I'm going to go ahead and answer that again. The Lizard, because it would be kind of stupid not to have him, since we saw him in Spider-Man 2 and 3 without the arm, which is the motive to why he becomes the Lizard. And Carnage, because we still have a little bit of the symbiote lying around, whether it be in Kurt Connors' just lab or after the explosion in Spider-Man 3. That was a little bit wiggling around. So hopefully it'll combine with Cletus Cassidy, and we'll get Carnage. So on to the other questions. The Brute Slayer asks, I have three questions for you. Have you ever played Halo Combat Evolved? There's a trial version for download. It has the controls like any other on the PC. What villain would you like? Yeah, I already asked that. Answer that. Do you ever think of getting the Universe Unicron? It's available at Toys R Us. Uh, Halo, never played it. I would love to play it because that will probably be the only game that I would like to play for the PC or for the Xbox 360. And that, no, the 360 games are not 360 fan. Sorry, it's just the way I roll. Uh, Universe Unicron, it looks tempting, but no. Too much money, too big. And, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind having it, but I think it's like $100 maybe? I don't know, but um, wouldn't, I wouldn't want, want it right now. Brown Ukulele asks, do you like post-apocalyptic films? If so, which ones? Yes. But I keep thinking to myself, they're movies, so I just watch them for the destruction and the story. Uh, story. I'm not expecting any of that stuff to happen. But yes, I mostly stick around. I mostly like those kind of movies for the special effects. One of my favorites will have to be I Am Legend, uh, Independence Day. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Anonymous asks, do you think now that Disney has bought Marvel, do you think it'll get dumbed down? If so, I mean, if you already answered this, I mean, forget it, oh, it's high. okay. Uh, do you think it will get dumbed down? Actually, no, I've heard that the films will go on as planned with their respective companies, like I said before, and also, this kind of gives, much like uh, uh, Cybertron X said, this is giving Marvel more money to make better films, hire better writers, hire better artists for their comic books. That makes a lot of sense, so maybe it might not get down. Only time will tell. This These kind of things can't happen overnight. Macy Monkey 100 says, what is your favorite, uh, I mean 1003, asks, what is your favorite uh, football, basketball, and baseball team? I'm sorry to say that I don't have one. I don't watch that many sports. That's That's just me. Dog barking. Jet one 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 asks, "Do you like do you like playing Guitar Hero or Rock Band? If so, what games do you have?" Uh, I do like playing Guitar Hero. I never played Rock Band personally, but 
Guitar Hero, I do play it. I we well, we have Guitar Hero 3 and it's pretty good, but after a while for some reason it tires on me and then I if I take a sufficient break, I will like it again later on. Optimus Prime 034 asks, what's your favorite transform yeah. Already answered that. And the second part of the question is, have you played Batman Arkham Asylum? Is so how it is. I have played a demo version at Toys R Us once. Um, you know, it was simply a beat 'em up demo. And just by those controls alone, I want that game. Severely. It's actually one of the main reasons why I want a PS3 alone. Dark Lord 2200, have you ever played the Mega Man Battle Network series of games? And what's your t five fi f top five favorite cartoons of all time? Never played Mega Man Ball Network. As for my top five favorite cartoons, at the moment I cannot think of any. Um, if you give me probably an uh, half an hour, I will think of them. But at the time right now, I can't. I will have to say though that Family Guy is up there, as well as you know some of the old classics like the original Spider-Man cartoon. Uh, that's another one. There was another show in the 90s that I love. Beast Wars. There you go. Transformers Beast Wars. I know those three are somewhere right there in the, around the top five. Sky Greenler asks, what villains would you like to see in Batman 3? Uh, rumors are pointing towards the Riddler. And yes, I would like to see the Riddler. But in 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 a gangster fashion. Not, you know, wearing the green costume. Wearing the purple uh, mask. No, something a little more modernized. Like what they did with the Joker. Mega Load on 64, what are your plans for your career? I'm planning on being a filmmaker. I'm, I'm, I'm heading towards being a director, but on the side, I will also like to do to produce and to screenwrite. The His House, his, his House V1, how are you with the ladies? I suck. PSP Blackie asks, hey David, my question is, would you make a video with Decompose, aka Kevin? If what would it be about? Ye Decompose is a legend, in my opinion. So I would be honored to make a video with him. What well, would it be about? I don't know. Anything that has to do with what we like, which is comics, movies, uh, pop. Basically, most of the stuff in pop culture. Lego Indie Short Round asks, Have you ever thought about doing a Transformers stop motion series? You mean how Night Slash Twenty Twenty does it? Yes, but that's his his stick. So I would do maybe skits or maybe um, representations or uh, spoofs of scenes from the film. I wouldn't actually do, go along and do my own series. That's Mike's thing. Don Duck School asks, why you stop making vlogs every week? What did you decide on the iPhone PS3 debate? And my final question, how's the new school? I stopped making vlogs because I couldn't keep up with them. They were every week. And I would have something to do on that week, so I just I just couldn't keep up with it. As for the debate, I decided on the PS3. And my final question has this new school tough, but I'll learn to adjust. Are you going to be dressing up this year for Halloween? If so, who or what? Um, it's a little too early to say that, but I am planning on doing something for Halloween and dressing up for Halloween. But I at the time I don't know what I'm going for the Joker, but. I lost my long hair, so I can't do that. Um, so I honestly don't know at the at the moment. Optimus Smith asks, "How about this? How long have you been a Transformers fan, and could you tell us your history with them?" It mostly started around Beast Wars, which is around the time that I was born, or at least the time that I actually started developing a brain, which is around kindergarten. Um, like I said, with Beast Wars. That's mostly about it. Transformers G1 Jasks asks, what do you think of Season 3 being the last season of Transformers Animated? For me, that was kind of a wise move because even though Animated was a good show, ending it at Season 3 just, it just seemed right. And actually, I heard that they're continuing Season 4 through comics. Not through the show, but through comics. I think that's a pretty good idea. AW Studios 217, what stop motion program do you use? I use a program called Animator DV Simple. Uh, it's a pretty cool program, you should check it out. It, it's awesome at making stop motions. Will Al 212 uh, asks, do you read comics? If so, which one? Uh, well, I've read Watchmen. You guys saw my review on that. And I am planning on, at the time right now, I'm not reading any comics, but I would love to start reading some uh, 
I have two in mind that I'm thinking about ordering from Amazon and hopefully I'll get to read them. Seabrewer98 asks, how do you feel about Shia LaBeouf playing Sam in the Transformers the movie? Um, okay, I mean, I always thought that he was a good actor. Not a great actor, but alright, although he should really cut back on the no, 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 no's. Yorukiri417, my question is, have you seen District 9? If you did, did you like it? If you haven't, will you see it? Um, eventually. Uh, right now, my schedule is tight, but I would like to see the movie. I heard it's really good that it breaks uh, science fiction boundaries, so I would like to see it. Autobot619, what do you want to see in the next Transformers movie, and what do you think it will be about? Um... Uh, at the time being, I actually have no thoughts of what Transformers 3 should have because I'm still trying to recover of the things that I don't want to see in Transformers 3 that we saw in Transformers 2, i.e. the freaking dogs humping. Foco Mojo asks, what are your thoughts about Spider-Man 4? Hmm, my thoughts on it. Uh, it sounds like they're actually taking more care of it, unlike they did with Spider-Man 3. Like in Spider-Man 3, it was good, but obviously not as good as as great as Spider-Man 2. This one it sounds like they're taking their time it'll be released four years after Spider-Man 3 and in those four years they should really put some TLC into the finished project so they should really take care of it. Enzo Worsk asks do you think animated is truly over? Earlier I asked you about a big family stop motion could you explain what the story is about a little bit? I'm really interested what are your thoughts on TF3? Again my thoughts on TF3 too early to tell do you think animated is truly over? Animated isn't truly over. Um, in terms of it being a show, it's over, but it's going to continue on in comics, in comic form, which I think is a pretty good idea. Uh, as for a story about a stop motion finale, uh, I, I don't remember discussing that. Enlighten me, please. And he asks another question: What? What? Who you be your top guys that are in G1 or animated that you would want to see in TF3? <sighs> I don't know. Thurin Y asks, what do you think of the new video game Batman Arkham Asylum again? It's the only th reason why I want to get a PS3. Movie Buff Reviews asks three questions. Do you like James Bond? When is the Watchmen Director's Cut review going to be? Did you see Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince? If so, what are your thoughts on it? James Bond, yeah, although I prefer Indiana Jones over James Bond, but I do like the fact that almost in every movie it seems like the previous movie didn't happen. So I think that's kind of neat, you know, put him in different situations. As for the Watchmen Director's Cut review, um, I might get it on Blu-ray if I get a PS3. That's why I'm holding off on it. That's why I didn't right away get it, because I'm thinking about getting a, a PS3 for Christmas. That way later on after I get it, I'll get the Director's Cut on Blu-ray. And for Harry Potter and I have a prince, I have not seen it, so I don't know what my thoughts are on it. Element Rocker 109, do you like Megan Fox and would you make love to her and do you have a girlfriend? Guess what? I don't like Megan Fox. <laughs> She's hot, but I don't like her because I think they just praise her too much that I don't. And no, I wouldn't make love to her. No, I wouldn't. Do you have a girlfriend? No. There you go. Joseph22 uh, has three questions. Since you plan on becoming a director, what is your favorite movie? Should Transformers 3 focus less on Sam Weekend and more on the Autobot and Decepticon battles? What is your favorite Transformers line so far? Line. Uh, again, you cannot ask me what. You cannot ask a director who their favorite movie is. Well, at least you can't ask me that. You can ask other directors that, but for me, I have a vast range of favorite movie so you can't ask me that <laughs> you know it goes goes with the uh, with the uh, Transformers and should it focus less on Sam Weekly and more on the battles the battles no but it should focus more on the robots the movies called Transformers not Sam Witwicky and Michaela Baines running around with big freaking robots and my favorite line so far would have to be Right now, right now, Revenge of the Fallen, but after that wears off, I think, I, I think I'm going to have to go back to Beast Wars. And Spider-Man 2099 Reviews asks, Who do you like more, Mario or Sonic? Did you watch the Ninja Turtles cartoon as a kid? Have you ever, been, have you ever solved the Rubik's Cube? No, I have. I, 
I barely lasted a few minutes with a Rubik's Cube because when I had it in my hand, the guy had to leave. So he took it. Did I watch the Ninja Turtles cartoon as a kid? No. Yeah. And who do you like more, Marty or Sonic? Uh, I have to be have to say Mario because I have a history with them in terms of the video games, playing the video games and whatnot. I generally, if you had a chance, would you take an internship in some area of entertainment business? Do you want to be in the camera or stick with behind or on the other side or entertainment business at all? Would, ever grow, would you ever grow your hair back? Will you really, really answer any of these questions? Well, the third one has been answered. Um, will I ever grow my hair back? I've been tempted to just leave it grow out, but I don't know. And do I want to be strictly behind the camera, or will I would like to do other stuff? Um, like I said, I'd only want to be in film. No, not TV. I mean, TV is okay, but I want to be in interested in film because I treat film as art. And I don't want to just make my, you know, be a Michael. Not saying that there's anything wrong with Michael Bay, but I want to be uh, abstract when it comes to films. And do I want to be behind, just behind the camera or in front? 95% of the time, I want to be behind, but every now and then I might be in a cameo or maybe even have a slight part that I feel like nobody else could do. Who knows? Megadolon64 no, has another question. Do you think this is going to be Transformers movie about the Beast Wars in the future? Um, it would work as a cartoon, but in terms of its own movie, no. In terms of an animated movie that will go straight to DVD, that would work, and I would get it. But as a movie for theatrical release, I really don't think so. And I saved the best for last. American Teenagers asks, how do you say I fantasize about being... Ah, uh, okay. I'm trying to do it with a straight face. Um, American Teenagers asks, how do you say I fantasize about being a Ghostbuster? Do not ask me why she's asking me that, but I'm just going to say it. Fantaseo de ser un casa fantasmas. There. I said There you go. Uh, before I get off that question, I would like to say, everybody who's watching the video, please go to American Teenagers' channel. Go to her channel, her, you know, youtube.com forward slash American Teenagers. She is awesome. She, you know, I'll post a link here in the video. I'll post it over here in the description box. Uh, she makes video. Dude. Guys, check this out. She's a girl. She is really pretty. She's smart. She's funny. And she reviews video games. She is a video game fanatic, especially for the PS3. So go over to her channel and look at it and immediately subscribe. Because, like I said, funny, smart, cute, pretty, and... <clears throat> okay. But anyways, go to her channel and subscribe. Um, so that is it. For the q and I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope, you guys, I hope you guys didn't just drag on, and I hope I, I hope it didn't bore you. Also, before I get done with the q and I would like to say that uh, sh uh, I hope they don't kill me for me saying this on camera, but Sean's, Sean Long's girlfriend, um, Heather, she found out that her aunt had a stroke, um, and she had to leave early. So... Go to her channel. I'll also post it right here in the uh, description box. Go to her channel and say a prayer. Uh, you know, get well soon to Heather's aunt. Pay, uh, you know, say say something because I had a cousin who had a who had a stroke, and I know how it it is. You know, it could get kind of intense, <laughs> and it's something that you don't want to go through again. So, go ahead and do that. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. More videos to come, and thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.